Hello, and welcome back to Infinite Jeff, the project where I, the man they call Jeff, reads the book Infinite Jest uh, to you, to y'all out there in the ether, the ether, the aether. I read it normally <clears throat> one page at a time, one day at a time, put it on the YouTubes, but I slacked, so I gotta play catch up. So I'm doing two a day, two a day, two pages at a time. So we are on to page 118. Here we go. Through sheer mindless repeated motions, <clears throat> the machine language of the muscles, until you can do it without thinking about it, play. At like 14, give or take, they figure here, just do it. Forget about it, is there a point? Of course there's no point. The point of repetition is, there is no point. Wait until it soaks into the hardware, and then see the way this frees up your head. A whole shitload of headspace you don't need for the mechanics anymore, after they've sunk in. Now the mechanics are wired in, hardwired in. This frees the head in the remarkablest ways. Just wait. You start thinking a whole different way now, playing. The court might as, court might as well be inside you. The ball stops being a ball. The ball starts being something that you just know ought to be in the air, spinning. This is when they start getting on you about concentration. Right now, of course, you have to concentrate. There's no choice. It's not wired down into the language yet. You have to think about it every time you do it. But wait till 14 or 15. Then they see you as being at one of the, like, crucial plateaus. 15 tops. Then the concentration and character shit starts. Then they really come after you. This is the critical plateau where character starts to matter. Focus, self-consciousness, the chattering head, the cackling voices, the choking issue. Fear versus whatever isn't fear. Self-image, doubts, reluctances, little tight-lipped, cold-footed men inside your mind, cackling about fear and doubt, chinks in the mental armor. Now these start to matter. Thirteen at the earliest. Staff looks at a range of thirteen to fifteen. Also the age of manhood rituals in various cultures. Think about it. Until then, repetition. Until then, you might as well be machines. Here is their view. You're just going through the motions. Think about the phrase, going through the motions. Wiring them into the motherboard. You guys don't know how good you've got it right now. James Albrick Lockley Struck Jr. of Orinda, California prefers one long Q&A type interface with VR8's viewer playing ambient stuff against relaxation, relaxation vistas of surf, shivering ponds, shimmering ponds, fields of nodding wheat. Time for about maybe two more, me droogies. Say it's close and the guy starts kertwanging you. Balls are way in and he's calling them out. You can't believe the flagrancy of it. Implicit this is a no-linesman situation, Traub, you're saying. Creepily blue-eyed Audern Talit Kelp Kelpsa chimes in. This is early rounds. The kind they give you only two balls. Honor systems. All of a sudden, there he is kertwanging on you. It happens. I know it happens. Traub says, whether he's outright kertwanging or just head-fucking you. Do you start kertwanging back, tit for tat? What do you do? Do we assume there's a crowd? Early round. Remote crowd. No witnesses. You're on your own out there. Do you kertwang back? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. You're going to have to wait till the next installment of Infinite Jeff. Good night.